What's going on guys, it's SKG here and in today's video I'm going to be going over the huge update that Brawl Stars had. It is absolutely massive so it's going to be a little bit longer of a video. If you would like, I have divided up the video into four sections, maps, brawlers, shop, and other. You can skip to any one that you want or just start from the beginning and watch the entire video. Without further ado, there's a lot to cover so let's get into it. First update for maps is a brand new game mode. It is probably going to be called Brawl Ball and it's basically like a soccer match within Brawl Stars. The way it works is a ball spawns in the middle of the map and whenever you pick it up, you are unable to throw any of your supers or auto attacks out. You can only run with the ball. Once the ball is in your hand, you are able to kick it by basically trying to attack with your character. The objective of that game is to get the ball in the opponent's net. Two goals wins. Looking at the game modes that we've already been playing for the past month or so, Bounty finally has a new map. It is called Groundhog's Burrow. It looks pretty nice. A lot of obstacles in the way. I'm not too sure who would actually be good in this map. But nonetheless, I like how they're adding new maps to existing game modes. Another new map that they added to one of my favorite game modes, Heist, is called GG Coral. It actually looks pretty good. And I wonder how balanced it's gonna be in terms of the way the map is structured. Because if you look at the top, there's two TNT and the safe will be surrounded in a box of boxes, I guess. So you're gonna have to break into that. It's gonna be interesting. I'm not too sure if attack's gonna be easier or defense. But nonetheless, I'm amped for this and I can't wait to try it out. Looking at the two brand new brawlers, Tara and Pam, I'm gonna be looking at Tara first. She looks absolutely amazing. She basically throws three cards in a cone, kind of like Crow, but there's no poison effect and they pierce through enemies. She's considered a mythic brawler and in order to unlock her, you need 200 chips. She falls in the same boat with Mortis currently. As for her super, this is an absolute game changer in any game mode you'll ever play. It is basically a black hole that will suck enemies into the middle of it. And from there, you guys can just unleash barrages of anything you want at them. It is actually such an amazing control. Tara has to be one of my my favorite brawlers yet. Looking at the second new brawler, Pam, she is a Junker style type of character. And apparently she is the mother to Jesse. Uh, I'm not too sure about that, but that is a rumor or a myth that I think has been going around. Pam is listed as an epic, but in my opinion, she is very underwhelming in terms of her damage and even supporting ability. Her ult just doesn't quite heal enough. It kind of baits the teammates, makes them all clump up to get into it. Um, and then her auto attack is completely unreliable and based on RNG. I, I do not think she's a very good brawler. That is just my opinion. I'm hoping that they fix her auto attack a little bit, make the spread a little smaller. But yeah, I kind of just went over what her basic attack and super is. Her basic attack is basically like an, a light machine gun that she can't control and it just goes left and right because she can't control the recoil and then her super is a little healing station kind of like a turret but instead of shooting it just heals you in a certain radius that it shows but yeah that's all for pam and tara our two new brawlers going on to balance changes our first brawler is Bo. his super now deploys four mines from three and a lot of people think that the radius got huge but actually they just made it look larger to visual change only if you've ever been hit by a bomb and you're like bro i'm not even in the radius how did that even hit me they just changed the visual to show a more accurate representation of how big the actual bomb is coming up next we have jesse and her turret did get nerfed as it was a little too strong scrappy's rate of fire has been decreased from 0.25 seconds to 0.30 seconds a whole point five it's not that big of a deal, but it does make it a lot less stronger. Looking at Piper, she sadly got hit again. Her base main attack damage went from 440 to 420, so a whole 20 damage loss per shot. I'm not too sure why they keep hitting her. I'm guessing the database for their win rates shows that she is winning way too much, so they had to do this nerf to her. One of the strongest balance changes in this update has to be Brock. His reload time is decreased from 2.3 seconds to 2.1 seconds, and his main attack's rocket speed is increased by 5%. On top of that they also made a super spread a little bit smaller so when you're actually hitting someone if you have good enough accuracy you can hit a lot of rockets with your alt on a single target with the old alt you could usually only hit about two to three with this one you could possibly hit four to five depending on how good the alt is a legendary that i just got spike actually received a slight nerf to his super the slow doesn't last quite as long once you've exited the circle this isn't too bad of a nerf in fact i don't even really find it a nerf i just feel like it's more fair because you shouldn't be slowed for too long once you've exited the super itself our last balance change is Poco, and he got hit pretty hard. He no longer can heal minions such as Jesse's turret or Nita's bear. And they basically did this because with the addition of Pam and her healing circle, it would just be too broken to be able to heal that and other things. So they just took it out completely. On the upside, his super now charges every five hits from six hits. So we did get a little something from the nerf. 
looking at the changes to the shop, they completely changed the whole visual of it. It looks super clean and professional now compared to the other one. It was a little unfinished, but now it just looks complete. Along with the visual update, they also added a lot of new things to the shop. And by new things, I'm talking about more boxes. They added a rare box, super rare box, and an epic box. Basically, you can get brawlers of that rarity guaranteed from those boxes. So you don't need to open those crappy 100 coin crates or 10 gem crates. You can just go straight to the brawlers and grab them immediately. Another brawl box they have is the big box. It contains 10 of the regular bad brawl boxes. I mean, that's okay because you do get a discount for them. So I, I guess in the end, that is pretty good. Another thing they added were starter packs. You unlock these at XP levels of 10, 20, and 30, and they all come with these little deals where you just get so much gems and crates for such a cheap price. Something that they added and I really like is that you can now get coin boosters and coin doublers from the original crates. That is gonna be so good. You can save a lot of gems on this. Cause personally, I buy the boosters all the time. So giving me a chance to get them without using gems is really good. Some other things you can get from the brawl boxes right now are super rare and mythic elixir drops. I haven't got them yet, so I'm not too sure of what the specifics are and how many elixirs you get from them, but I'm guessing it's a little more than an epic elixir drop. Lastly, the final thing they changed towards the shop in terms of coins, gems, and all that good stuff is you can now only have a maximum amount of coins, which is 9,999. First thing we're gonna talk about is the new leaderboards. There is now a season system added and the trophy caps is no longer at 500. You can go as high as you want. Basically how it works is the season ends in two weeks and whoever has the highest amount of trophies for the total amount of trophies as well as individual brawlers receives some sort of gold reward. On top of that, brawlers over 500 trophies lose 50% of their trophies that are above 500. Looking at some of the minor event changes, the fourth slot is unlocked after every seven brawlers. It used to be 8, so that's a little better for those who cannot get brawlers easily from chests. In Bounty, you now spawn with 2 stars from 1 star, and the center star that you pick up actually doesn't count towards your bounty. As for Heist, it got hit again. The safe hit points decreased by 200 in Bandit Slash and Kaboom Canyon, and as for safe zone, it got decreased by a whole 1200. Our last event change is in Showdown. The poison gas now destroys elixir boxes, so if you're ever near an elixir box that is in the poison, you can sort of swoop in and grab the elixir without dying. The last thing we're gonna talk about are little random tweaks that they made to the game. They added an AFK player detection, a brawler selection screen added to the game rooms, graphic improvements to multiple brawlers, joystick improvements and additions for both left and right handed players. There's also now a fixed area in the corner for people. Band size is increased to 100 from 50. Brawler elixir upgrade levels are now shown at the end of the match screen. There are also some sound effects improvements and brawler rarities have been adjusted, which I will go over. In common, we have Shelly, Colt, Nita, Dynamite, and El Primo. In rare, we have Bull, Brock, Barley and Jesse, Super Rare, Ricochet, Poco, and our new one, Bo, who came from Epic. As for Epic, we still have Piper, and our new brawler, Pam, is in there. Looking at Mythic, which is the newest rarity, we have Tara and Mortis that bumped up into there. And then, of course, our legendaries, Spike and Crow. That's all for today's video, guys. I hope you did enjoy. I hope it helped you out. I hope you learned some stuff. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. It helps me out so much. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.